Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my camera angle is different, so you might actually see this this time. Uh, yeah, so today, a little bit of a different video. Uh, we are not on cartridge, which means two things. One, we're going to get some proper best of three practice, because that's something I sorely need. Two, we're... I think I held up two for the first one. Two, we're trying out a new team... I suck at team building, but I found a co I stumbled onto a concept that I really like when goofing around on Showdown, and I think it has potential, so we're going to try it in best of three. And three, you're going to see my bald head a lot, because I'm going to be leaning into my screen, because I'm blind. If you have questions, ask in the comments. So, this is the team we're working with. You can tell it's a work in progress, because it's a copy of a copy of an untitled team, but basically... Uh, if I click this way, you can see everyone on the team. Uh, Cresselia, criminally underrated as a trick room setter, in my in my humble opinion. Um, it's kind of fallen off because Urshifu Dark and Pranks are taunt, but there are ways to get around that. And this team's kind of designed to, you know, make it as easy as possible for Cresselia to get up a trick room when we need to. That being said, this team can operate outside of trick room because... We've got Grimstarl screens to reduce damage, so we can, you know, tank a hit and then hit back harder, right? You've got Assault Fast Iron Hands, rel very tanky. Incineroar the Goat, y'all know about him. We've got Ursa Luna, who, frankly, this team really centers around, let's get Ursa Luna in position. I have not seen a matchup yet that I don't like for Ursa Luna, and uh, to be honest, uh, I probably will bring it to like 90% of games. Uh, and when I can't, uh, we have other hard hitters. Or er, er, Incineroar can do decent damage. Iron Hands, of course, hits hard. I've got it uh, about... I've got it probably a little less bulky than most Iron Hands are run, just to get a little bit more damage. And we've got Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Fun little tech. You get Sturdy. Uh, you get Follow Me, which Ogre Pond is basically the... If there is something on the other team that's going to taunt my Cresselia... You are going to be, Ogre Pond's going to be the reason I get into Trick Room. Also, Terra Rock Ivy Cudgel hits hard. Non Terra Rock Ivy Cudgel still hits hard. So, it's the team we're running with. We're going to get some practice on the best of three ladder, probably. Um, I've got like an hour free right now. So, we're probably going to get. Uh, do I have an hour free? Let me double check my calendar. Yes, I have free hour right now. So, I'm going to get some practice in. Uh, on the best of three ladder and if this team does well enough in this testing uh, Chances are I'll probably do some battles with this team on cart Start of next season, which is in a couple days and get it up to master ball that way. So yeah uh, We're gonna go ahead and dive into things here Lefties golden go with nasty knife plot. Okay. This team is a little bit worse against special attackers like golden go So this is gonna be a little annoying um, I've previously been testing with like Assault Vest Raging Bolt, which is really good into this matchup. There is some interesting stuff on this team. There is some Sandseer Storm, so I don't have to worry about substitutes. Uh, booster, probably Special Attack Booster. And you have Sunny Day. You don't have Sunny Day, you have Rain Dance. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to bring Incineroar. I'm going to bring Grimstar on. And I'm going to bring Presser Saluna. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start with this. We're going to see if we can't get into a good position. Game one. I don't want to burn my Terra. But I might have to. I do probably want to conserve my Terra for Ursa Luna though. Knock plus light screen. Yeah. Knock off plus light screen is the play here. Because I can't parting shot you. Which is annoying, but. Terra Fairy. I'm a dark type. You can't taunt me. Alright. I'm going to bring in Cresselia. 
This thing's at plus two, so I am terrified. I'm, oh, actually, yeah, this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Oh, I can't party shot out on you, though. I can party shot out on you and then bring in Incineroar, have Intimidate Pressure, get a Trick Room up. That's the play. So we're going to hard switch Cresselia. We're going to party shot out off you. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Free Trick Room. Wait, no, not free Trick Room. Not free trick room, you have taunt. Ugh. Okay. This is okay though. I can Terra Dark. Uh, I think I have to burn my Terra to get this trick room up. I have to Terra Dark to get trick room up here. Which is okay. I don't necessarily need it on Ursa Luna. Especially since I'm getting this trick room up. Because now what we do is we click Lunar Blessing. And we party shot out off you again. Yeah. This might be a protect turn. This is a protect turn. Yes. Okay. That golden, that golden ghost slot is getting hyper voiced so hard. <laughs> Not hyper voice. Sorry. Blood moon. Yeah. I am. I am clicking the meanest. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm clicking the meanest blood moon into that slot. Kothunk. Goodbye. Do you have fake out pressure anywhere on your team? No. Do you have walking wake? Because if so, I have to consider my moves carefully. You do have walking wake. Okay. And you both have protect. Okay. This is a little bit tricky, but I can do this. We're going to start with a Moon Blast, and we're going to hard switch into Grimmsnarl here. Ugh, should have known. Alright, this is going to hurt. Uh, the crit helps. I don't know if the crit matters, but the crit helps. Now we bring in Incineroar, because we stalled out the rain. And this is going to be... This is the last turn of Trick Room. So we're gonna click Moon Blast. And... We're gonna click... Fake Out, I guess. Yep, that's okay. It's gonna be tricky doing this without screens. We really need screens in this matchup. Because I don't have a clean switch. I guess I could take the risk here. No, wait, you're gonna target. No, wait, you are gonna. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, Incineroar, you are the goat. That's why you're the goat. The goat. Alright, Cress. You just need to survive a rain-boosted IV cudgel. That's all you gotta do. Not that hard. I don't know if the crit, crit mattered on Grimmsnarl. But I really didn't have a better option on that turn. At least I don't think I did. This is one where watching replays helps. Oh my god. Oh my god, Cresselia. Cresselia, why are you so tanky? Alright. The speed drop means I now underspeed Ursaluna. So I kind of have free reign here. 
you do not have protect on you. I have free reign here to click Hyper Voice and Helping Hand. Ho! 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 Wazoom! Alright. Protect Incineroar. Let's see who you protect on this turn. There's an out here. My opponent can play well and get around me, but... It's a matter of whether you double protect or if you single protect this turn, because that dictates what I do next turn. You protect Walking Wake, and you click Ivy Cudgel. So that means you're probably going to click Spiky. I'm going to have to read this Spiky Shield very hard. I actually don't really need to. I can switch in Cresselia and click Fake Out. This actually feels very safe. I can kind of stall out this rain. Okay. I'll take that outcome. This is the last turn of Trick Room. That being said, I will still click Hyper Voice. There's no reason not to. There might have been a reason not to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ursaluna, 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 be strong. Ursaluna, be strong. Yeah! Okay. I should probably learn that calc, but it's good to know that Ursa Luna, non-Terra, just eats Ivy Cudgels for breakfast, assuming you haven't set up. It is after an Intimidate draw. I do need to note that. Okay. Click Lunar Blessing. Click Blood Moon. It's good game one. Okay. Um. Do this before I forget. Okay. So last game, you led Torn plus Golden Go. And you had Orger Pond and a Walking Wake in the back. There's a non zero chance that you bring Urshifu now that you've seen how dangerous Ogre Pond is. So I'm kind of tempted to bring Iron Hands. I think, like, Iron Hands plus Raymond lead isn't bad here. I keep my fake out pressure, I lose some of my damage reduction. And I can still play to Cressor Saluda pretty safely. There's the old adage of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the thing with best of threes is your opponent is going to adjust. Your opponent's going to counter. Case in point, there's Urshifu. Are you Scarf? Or are you Sash? You're Sash. You're Sash. Okay. So, you're Sash and you have Protect. How do we best do this? Hmm. I think I want to click Fake Out plus Light Screen. Yeah, yeah, it was the obvious play, but like, I did not have a better workaround there. Um. That being said, you don't really threaten Iron Hands right now if I get and I get this Reflect up. So I'm going to click Drain Punch and I'm going to click Reflect. Like Iron Hands is sitting pretty pretty behind with these screens. Pretty pretty. Iron Hands is sitting pretty, it's sitting pretty pretty. Eh. English language is dumb. Also, I have to do special three. I have to be conscious of the time. I might have to switch to some best of ones for the rest of the video. CC, that tickles. You get a second nasty plot up. This is terrifying. However, comma, what do I have for you? Nothing. 
if you Terra, you're in danger. But you only Terra because Incineroar was here. I don't feel very confident about this play. Youch! This makes me feel confident you don't have Torn to go. Right? Because who's your fourth? It could be Ogre Pond. It could be Torn, to be fair. But either way, I get my Trick Room up here. Probably. Oh no, that Shadow Ball's gonna hurt. I kinda am forced to Terra. And if I tear a dark... Yeah, okay. Oh, I needed to be clicking Spirit Breaks against Golden Go. That's my play. Uh-oh. There goes Ursa Luna. Mm. Yeah, okay. I do really need to be focused on Golden Go. Um... Uh... Alright, time to learn some damage calcs. I'm not gonna get to learn these damage calcs. I'm gonna learn these damage calcs. Okay. 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 Alright, good to know. On Showdown, I will always play it out, just because I want to learn, you know, how much damage I take from things. Alright, Golden Ghost Snowballs. I kinda need Incineroar to check Golden Go. And I do need the screen. You are Sash, which means I do outspeed you with Ogre Pawn. Because the other option here is to lead, like, Incin plus Ogre Pawn. Because then I don't need to Terra Cresselia at all. I can save the Terra for Ursa Luna or someone else. Screw it. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. It's not what you want to be saying in terms of a game three, but... I'm going to throw in another GLHF. Okay. Yep. I'm going to attempt to knock this off, because that's going to get annoying after a while. I could also switch in Cresselia. I could switch in Cresselia into this slot, and I can click Ivy Cuddle. This is also not a bad play. Yep, you double protect on the fake out turn. Could have probably used that to my advantage, but that's okay. There's no real way for you to deny me Trick Room right now. Am I gonna sack Ogre Pond just to get Trick Room up? Yes. Yes, I am. Because then I get Ursa Luna in for free and your whole team cries. Because we saw Ursula do stupid damage without even Terra. This Lando's not that bulky. Terra Steel. Sludge Bomb hurts. Wicked Blow hurts. And I get Trick Room. Oh, 
The problem is I know you are- Ooh, the problem is I know you are, Sash. You you are intimidated. You are intimidated. I kind of just, I kind of am just forced to believe in the intimidate drop. Alternatively, alternatively, I click Moonblast and I click Protect. That's actually the safer play here. Yeah, Moonblast Protect is the safer play. I break the sash. I bait out any protects on your side. Okay, and now what we do is, this is a close combat plus like earth power double up, right? Past me. So, we're actually gonna go ahead and, ooh, you could also wicked blow into this lot. I cannot tell what you wanna do. Yeah. Sacking Ogre Pond to get Trick Room up is like a double-edged sword here. Because I'm basically saying I'm going to play you 3v4. And these two are pretty strong into Ursula. You go for the double. You go for the Wicked Blow into Ursula. Beautiful. Okay. So I could have kept the press in. But that's okay. Because now I have a pretty safe... Um, fake out, switch, and press. This is double protect here. And now we click Flare Blitz. We click Moon Blast. And if you Sucker Punch my Cresselia, fair enough. But I don't think that picks up. Cresselia is very bulky. And you're double into the drops. And if you switch someone in, you don't have great switch-ins for either of these. I'll take the double. Now, is this like Torn plus Walking Wake? It's Ogre Pond plus Golden Go! Okay. But you've used your Tarot. You've used your Tarot. I can get into Trick Room. You cannot deny me Trick Room. This double up doesn't KO Cresselia. I'm gonna bet on that. Okay. Follow me. We'll let you start chipping yourself down. I know I live in Ivy Cudgel from this range. Why are you saying GG already, bro? Why are you saying GG already, little bro? This ain't a GG yet. Oh, that needed to be a Blood Moon. I goofed. I will let you tire yourself out, bro. I do not care. I already said GG turn 8. That's crazy. I feel so disrespected. But also, like, he was in a good position there.
We'll take it, I guess. <laughs> we'll take it. That does not feel earned because my opponent definitely hadn't lost yet. Unless he was saying GG like I lost, but or like like GG you won, but I don't know. I can't tell. My opponent definitely had outs. I was definitely not playing perfectly. Assault Vest Snarl shenanigans are annoying. Specs. Sash Urshifu Dark. Uh, Standard and Sin, right? Yeah, Standard and Sin. And Almungus with the helmet. Okay. My immediate thoughts are Incineroar is great, Iron Hands is great. I have no further thoughts. Are you Terra Electric? You're Terra Electric. So Ursa Luna is kind of good into you, despite your strong shenanigans. Um. And I know at worst case scenario, I speed tie you. Chances are I, I underspeed you. So maybe we leave the screens at home for this game. But with Fluttermane around, I don't want to do that. This is game one. This is game one. This is game one. We we're freaking out the lights. Can I get out of the terror raid music? That's not better. Eh, Tropagos is okay. I appreciate how that beat drop lined up here. I gotta click a timer in battle. Okay. I've got double fake out pressure. Realistically, I only need to use one of them. It's gonna be... I could knock. I could knock. I could fake out plus knock. That actually feels pretty good here. Like, I'm gonna call out the spiky shield. If you Ivy Cudgel my Incineroar, fair play. But I'm not clicking the terror button. Okay, at least I lived that one. That last I, that last Ogre Pond was stupid strong. Okay. Do I wild charge? Nah, I drain punch. They're both neutral. Yeah. Okay. Rude. Okay, but imagine if I drain punch that slot. <laughs> okay. I'm going to attempt the trick room. And click fake out. Oh, sorry. I clicked into the Alright, you don't have a burn move apart from player blitz, so I'm gonna attempt to do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've been. Tr uh oh. Oh boy. <laughs> I got hard called out on this one. Alright. Um. Change of plans. This Amoongus needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in danger. Okay. I'm in danger, dear lord. Ah! Okay. Wow, that was such a good play for my opponent. Oh, forgot we were playing open sheet. All right. Change of plans, change of plans. Abort, abort. Get out of the trick room. <laughs> uh, I can't, I, I could have parting shotted. 
Ah! I'm stuck here. Help! Help! I'm trapped. Oh, that's such a good play for my opponent, trapping me in my own trick room. Oh, what a play. Um, I'm gonna attempt. <laughs> that was a good Uno reverse. Um, I don't know why I didn't click fake out. Eh, whatever. Come on, wake up, 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 wake up. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is cursed. This is cursed. I hate this so much. Um, uh, I hate this so much. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um. Yeah, I didn't want to burn my Terra in the Trick Room, but out of the Trick Room, I kind of just have to do it. I'll take the HP. We never got a speed check on our Incineroars, did we? Have they ever been on the field at the same time? Uh... Uh... Okay, your Incineroar is faster, presumably. This is something I would have noted down in real time. I'm going to still attempt the fake out plus Brain Punch. Ah! Ah! Wait a minute! You got greedy, you Flare Blitzed! You're going to sleep my Incineroar, that's okay. Oh no, you're going to... Okay. Yeah, Iron Hands has all of a sudden become so important for me in this one. Iron Hands is my win condition. And how do I win with Iron Hands? I get rid of Incineroar and then deal from there. Yeah, I have to take the Rocky Helmet chip. I mean, I'm going to proc my own. Oh, no, I already proc my own berry. Yeah, this is annoying. But now, give me one good reason not to click. F give me one good reason not to click. Flare I should have KO'd Incineroar. What was I doing? What was I thinking? Uh, plus Luna Blessing. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Who comes in? Ogre Pond? It's okay. I know Incineroar lives, but I don't want to take unnecessary damage here. This is a chess match. Oh god. Okay. Oh, uh, now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Because I would like a clean switch into Ursa Luna, but it's not going to happen. And I would like to get a Trick Room up, but I don't think you allow me to get Trick Room up. Oh, I don't want Trick Room up, actually. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want Trick Room at all. I think we click...
I think we click Drain Punch. And we let, we let, we let you drop. Because I'm not saving you. Yeah. Ouch. Anyways. I could have wild charged there. I had the space. I'm going to click fake out. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take the chip. I don't care. Now I click wild charge. And I attempt to parting shot. Because I want a clean switch. Cleanish switch. This is a dog fight, this battle. Dear lord. Like, this is one where, like, this one goes to timer. On cart, this goes to timer. On cart, this is the table that sits there keeping the room waiting. Ouch. Anyways. Okay. Do you protect or do you attack? Because I no longer have lines of recovery. I, I have to make a big bold play here. I think I have to call this. I think I have to call this spiky shield. Because you're just in such a, you're in such a precarious position. I don't think I have hits you super effective, huh? I guess I'll just Drain Punch plus Hyper Voice. Yeah, I called it. I called it. Uh... Yeah. Ugh. That's a tough one to lose on time. If I KO Amoongus there, if I KO Amoongus that turn, if I KO Amoongus that turn, I win! Oh, that hurts so much! Oh my god! Oh, that's pain! Wow! I win on time if I KO Amoongus that turn! Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know if I... Alright. Yeah. I agree. That took a long time. <laughs> yeah, that best of three was a long best of three. Okay. Lucky for you guys, we got a quick little, uh, quick little replay analysis lesson. Because this was actually, like, this is a game I want to look back on and figure out. Because I somehow salvaged the winning position and I fumbled it. Okay. So, um... From the lead here, I know you probably shouldn't like watch, re like figure out and dissect replays immediately after the game, but also like it's fresh, so it's a good chance to take note of things. So, yeah, there was no way of me knowing you didn't bring either of these two, because this is like a really flexible team where you can kind of bring four out of pretty much any combination of four out of six here works, just depending on the matchup. Um. Really interesting that they didn't bring Urshifu to the matchup at all, considering Ursa Luna was my big threat. But, uh, yeah. So, turn one, I click fake out. I call a spiky shield. Doesn't end up working out. Which is okay. Because I get rid of this thing's assault vest, thinking that Ursa Luna is going to be... I don't mind this turn one. This turn one's not bad. Um, they bring in Incineroar. I bring in Cress. There, okay, yeah. That was annoying. I don't know if I could have... Like, because I was between the two, it was kind of a coin toss. 
I really wanted to get chipped down on you, on the Ogre clone. So, like, I guess, like, I didn't make an insanely incorrect play. It just could have worked out really well. From here, you bring Amoongus. I bring Incineroar. You click Knock Off, which is annoying. I should have... I should have covered for this in some way. How? I don't know. Maybe I switch an Incineroar into that slot. And click Drain Punch. Maybe that's a better play. But yeah, losing the safety goggles really made this a tough game. And I put myself... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this was, like, a great play from them. Knock off the safety goggles. You're, you're calling me out on getting into the Trick Room. Getting into Trick Room there was absolutely the wrong play. Um... Here, I probably just, like, either click Moonblast, or, like, I, I probably should just switch Cresselia, to be honest. Um, at this point, I didn't know they had Amoongus, but... Yeah, clicking... I had no real reason to click Trick Room. I guess apart from assuming they didn't bring Amoongus, which was not the safe play. Yeah, this was a... This turn three from them was insane. Um, yeah, and I just... Here, I kind of flounder for a bit. Um, I could have parting shotted. I was afraid of a spore. And, like, why don't I Terra Grass here? There's no reason to not Terra Grass in this position. I guess because I've seen you have Incineroar. But also, like, realistically, what's Incineroar doing to me? Even if I Terra Grass, I'm fat. I have Grain Punch. Yeah, I should have Terra Grass. I could have saved myself some HP. Which is okay. And here I just eat some sleep turns. Because of course. I'm glad I got the wake with Cresselia when I did. Because the timing just ended up working out really well. Was that a turn one wake? How many turns of sleep did I have? I sleep here. And... I slept this turn. That's one turn of sleep. Okay, so it was a turn two wake. It wasn't too it wasn't too crazy lucky, but that's okay. Um yeah, sometimes you just need the RNG. So from here I get into a pretty good position. Incineroar switches, we all could have seen this one coming. And what did I do? It's funny, I had to stall out my own Trick Room. That's a switch that should have happened a long time ago. And that Terra Grass was... I finally found the Terra Grass. That was there so long ago. We could have shut down Amoongus so early, but it's okay. And now we Fake Out. And, yeah, the Fake Out plus the Intimidate. Uh, the, the Berry plus the Intimidate just keeps it alive, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Um... Yep, switching crests. I knock off the Rocky Helmet because I know I'm going to have to hit this thing with contact moves. That's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, and this Amoongus was just really instrumental in terms of just keeping them alive. And I did not use my Cresselia the same way. They called all my Flare Blitzes into Amoongus pretty well. Switching Iron Hands. Uterra Water. And I think you're targeting that Cresselia here, right? Yeah. But Cresselia is fat. The thing is, there's only so many Lunar Blessings I had. Like, at this point, I had how many? At this point, I was I, I was already basically halfway through them. Yeah. This Drain Punch at least did good damage. It did, oh, the crit absolutely mattered. Oh, that crit mattered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That crit absolutely mattered. Yeah, and here I just let Cresselia drop. Letting Cresselia drop is absolutely the wrong play. Is there any way to keep Cresselia alive? No, but I had to at least try. And the Draco hurts, but like, that's okay. I don't know why I don't just wild charge there. I guess because I want to keep my HP up as much as possible, which is fine. Because here I have fake out pressure. And like here I called the protect correctly, right? 
No, I don't. That's such an obvious protect call. But I missed. And there, Incineroar drops. Because I don't want to have Ursa Luna just eat that raw. Okay. And we get into this endgame scenario. Oh, do they still have Raging Bolt? Hold on, do they have Raging Bolt in the back? I think I lose. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what, it was lost. Because I forgot Raging Bolt was in the back. I thought Raging Bolt was KO'd. Okay, that game was lost either way. Yeah. Yeah, and then I lose on time. Okay. Yeah, I can't be too mad about that one, to be honest. Because I got outplayed. I let Cresselia eat a few too many hits, and I didn't deal... I just didn't properly deal with Amoongus. It's good to know that Amoongus is a weakness for this team, but all in all, I'm really happy with how this team performs. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with what this team does. Uh, I'm going to give it a bit more testing, but there's a good to fair chance I just convert this to cart and start using it on ladder. It's a lot worse than best of one because it is matchup dependent, but open team sheet... If I can get good at playing best of three open team sheet with this team, this is actually, like, pretty strong into most everything when you pilot it correctly, which is, like, 90% Pokemon teams, but that's whatever. All right. Uh, what time is it? It's 12.45. I gotta leave. Uh, and by leave, I mean just stop recording and sit in this chair and hop on a call. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything you would change about this format of video. Um, anything that would make it more entertaining, less entertaining. Should I put, like, some, like, Subway Surfers gameplay below me so that, you know, y'all watch? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Until next time, folks. Take care. Enjoy my bald head. <laughs>